So my name is Steven Nelson. I'm the Herpetology Collection and Conservation Manager at Zoo Knoxville. I've always appreciated reptiles and snakes. Um, you know, my favorites have probably always been turtles. So the zoo has a very significant turtle and tortoise conservation breeding facility. Um, most of that is with Malagasy tortoises and then also turtles from Southeast Asia. But the zoo also does stuff that helps turtles directly in the actual wild areas where these turtles occur. Bok turtles were discovered in 1986, and since that time, Zoo Knoxville has had a really prominent role in that. So some of the things that we do is just the overall population assessment of the turtles in Tennessee. We've done things like radio telemetry, which we put these little transmitters on the backs of turtles and track to see where they go, and that's actually led us to other bogs that we didn't know existed. We also have then bred turtles at the zoo to release back into the wild. They're very habitat specific. They don't just occur in any wetland or any field or anything like that. These bogs or, or fens, these, these wetlands, um, are very sporadic across the landscape. There's probably more historically that have been drained. So what's remaining is very, very low compared to what it historically would have been. Sometimes there's a little bit of muck, muck and pee. Certainly not, the, not a walk on a greenway. Sometimes it's a couple inches deep. Sometimes it could be several feet deep. So these turtles rely on this muck and this pee to kind of bury into the the ground to hide away from predators. We typically process them, so that includes taking measurements of the shell, like the shell length, the shell width, the height. Since 1991, when we released turtles into this bog for the first time, we've released over 180 turtles. Bog turtles live for over 60, 80 plus years old. So when we think about this program being in its 37th year, we're really still in the infancy of this. So one of the turtles we encountered on this recent survey was 6.6, .6, and 6.6 .6 had been stepped on by a cow many years ago. It came back to the zoo, it healed, and she's back in the wild and she's doing great. So this is multiple years that we've seen her since that incident, and she's a, a happy, healthy turtle now. A lot of folks, when they come to the zoo, they want to know how can we help? You know, we think of conservation being far away in maybe Madagascar or Indonesia or somewhere else, but there's things and species in our own backyard that need our help and need our protection. Turtles overall are highly targeted for the legal pet trade. Um, they're relatively small, most species. Um, sometimes they can be quite valuable. So one of the best things that people can do is to not buy turtles, not to buy especially illegal turtles. As a, basically a zookeeper most of the time, right? We see animals at the zoo and ultimately we'd love for every animal to be back out into the wild, but that's not possible for every species for a variety of reasons. So to see these animals that we bred at the zoo back into the wild, to see that these animals are thriving is very rewarding. 